Hey guys, if you're looking to be the strongest you've ever been in your life, then my suggestion is to use this bit of kit called a trap bar. This is something that I've used over the past six to seven years to improve my maximum strength levels to the best they've ever been in my life. So at 56 years old, I was able to lift three times my body weight, um, that's 225 kilos, at a body weight of 75 kilos. Now it's not just about improving maximums like that, it's finding an exercise that helps you stave off the ravages of, of old age when it comes to muscle wastage, decreasing testosterone levels, human growth levels, and staving off the, the ravages of things like osteoporosis. This is pretty much a one-stop shop for me as far as those things are concerned. And the beauty of it is you can, just, you can do this exercise just once a week and reap the benefits. Not only that, I find it much easier to use and safer to use than a conventional Olympic bar doing uh, a deadlift, for example. Now, I know you can squat and you can achieve the same sort of benefits, but for me, lifting something off the ground in this fashion is, is easier and, as I said, safer and less, and less prone for me to have injuries. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to, to do that very soon. Now, depending on how you program um, the use of this, you can, said, you, can, you can, as I said, improve your maximum strength levels, your power levels, or your strength endurance levels, or a combination of those. I'll get onto that pretty soon. But enough of me talking, now let's get down to some action and how we use this thing. So let's look at the exercise from the front, first of all. So what's the setup? Feet are facing forward, shoulder width or slightly narrower, okay? Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna bend down and grab the handles, but we're gonna keep our hips high. We're not gonna squat, okay? We're gonna keep our hips high. So we're gonna bend from the waist, pushing the hips back, the backside out, slightly soft knees, and we're gonna grab the handles centrally. That's important. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're gonna look at a point about 10 feet in front of us so the neck is neutral and in line. And what we're gonna do from this point here is we're going to find the, the biting point. We, what, we're not, what we don't want to do is to jerk or try and jerk the, the weight off the ground. That's where injuries occur. So we need to find the biting point, the point at which we're lifting without lifting. So find that point just by pulling so that you can feel tension all over in the back of the calves, the, the hamstrings, the glutes, the lats, everything seems to be engaged at this point. And most importantly, your weight is in your heels. At this point here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push through our heels and lift up straight. Straighten the knees, straighten everything upright. Now, from this point to, to get back down to the ground, we're not going to squat, we're going to push our hips backward, so it's the reverse of everything that we've actually done. So we're gonna push our hips backward, soften the knees, and lower the weight down. Now, I slowed that whole reverse movement down, but in reality, you'll do it at the same speed at which you lift. So let's repeat that movement to reinforce everything that we've done. So, feet facing forward, slightly um, narrower than shoulder width or shoulder width apart, depending on your preference and size. Standing centrally within the hex bar, we're going to bend our hips backwards, pushing the hips back, okay? And as we do, we'll grasp the handles centrally. And we're gonna look at a point about 10 feet in front of us, and we're going to be in finding that biting point, that point at which everything's engaged. So we tension up by pulling up without lifting. Make sure that your, your weight is being, is being pushed through your heels. And at that point, we're going to lift through our heels. So lift through your heels, up. And then to reverse back out of the, out of the movement, gonna push our hips back, soften the knees, lower down. Okay, good. So now let's have a look at the, the move from the side so we can really get an appreciation of how the, the hips are moving back and forward. So again, go through the same setup. Feet, um, shoulder width or slightly narrower, um, pointing forwards. Bend at the hips, pushing the hips back. Knees soft, grab the handle centrally. Head looking forward, the point about 10 feet in front of you. Now we're going to lift without lifting to engage everything, pushing our weight through the heels. At the biting point, at that point there, we can then really 
push through the heels and push the hips forward. So push the hips forward, push through the heels and upright. Now at this point we're going to reverse back out of the move. So we're going to push our hips backward, soften the knees and descend. Now let's look at that in real time so you can get appreciation how it works in real time. So again, push the hips back, bend the knees down, looking at that point in forward and push, find the biting point, push through the heels and lift. Reverse back down, pushing the, hip, the hips back, knees soft, down. Pushing through the heels, finding the biting point and lifting up and down. Push through the heels, up and down. Good. So let's look now at how we can program this to increase your maximum strength levels and doing that just once a week. Now, what I don't suggest you do is load this bar with as much as you think you can lift and then try and lift it for as many times as you can. That is tantamount to creating an injury. Absolutely, undoubtedly, you're gonna hurt yourself and that's not what we wanna be. We wanna be safe. So what I suggest you do is to load this bar really conservatively. You might even start off with just the bar itself and see if you can lift that weight 10 times. That's what we're looking for, to be able to lift the weight 10 times and then feel that that's just about the point at which we fail, okay? Now, once you've done that, you give yourself a two or three minute rest. I'd say take three minutes out because we want to replenish all the energy systems so we're able to, to have maximum or energy levels and, and resources available to be able to lift it again. And at that point, try and lift it 10 times once more so that at that 10th rep, you are pretty much fatiguing and that's about all you can do. Your goal is to be able to do four sets in this fashion so that if you can complete four sets of 10, you now know or you then know that you'll be able to increase the weight. And what I suggest that you then do is to the next time around or the next week, you increase the weight by five kilograms, all right? Just five kilograms, don't go more than that. And then see if you can complete four sets of 10 once more with the same protocol of two minutes rest in between. Believe me, those four sets of 10 at that maximum weight will be enough to give you the training benefit that I've been talking about. Now, in the future, once you've been lifting for a while, well, just to go back again, the, the rep range of 10 will give you a good balance between gaining strength, power, and also muscle growth. If your goal is to, to, to go for your, your maximum um, lift or the, the, the maximum amount that you can lift, you, you will reduce the reps that you're doing per set down to about three to five, okay? And if you're looking to build things like power, it's five to six, but that's slightly more advanced. So what I suggest you do is you, you stick with that, that 10 rep range for at least the first couple of three months, all right? And then you can look at um, altering that rep range depending on the sort of thing that you're after. Now, if you've got any questions about that programming and what I've just said, please feel free to put your questions in the comment and I'll do the best I can to get back to you. Now, there's just a couple more things that I'd, I wanna talk about before, before I say goodbye on this one. And that's, you've probably seen me, I'm wearing a belt, all right? Um, this, this belt here, it's not to add support to my back. It's really to give me something to brace against when I'm lifting a heavy weight because your whole core when you're lifting, you brace your whole body. And if your core doesn't have something to push against, um, you, you lose out slightly. So what I would say is investing in a belt of this kind, and I'll, I'll leave the details of the belt that I've got. You can choose any belt you like, but this is the one that I use, um, will help you uh, throughout that lifting process. You can see as well that it's got quite a high back as well. So it gives you more to brace against. When you're going down, you're lifting, you're bracing, you can push against that belt and it helps with the lift. Another thing to note, the shoes that I'm wearing. Now I'm actually um, wearing weightlifting shoes, okay? And they're, with those, they're very, very flat and they've got a very low heel. Um, you don't necessarily need to invest in weightlifting shoes. Um, a lot of deadlifters will actually um, deadlift bare feet, but any flat soled shoe, all right, flat trainer, don't wear running trainers because they'll be unstable. And that's, instability is not what you want when you're lifting heavy, all right? So um, that, I think that's about it really, as far as the, the, the trap bar and the trap bar setup and the program is concerned to, to, to increase your strength. And as I said, you can do this from training just once a week. Believe me, the, the, the training effect that you'll get from deadlifting near your maximum at, at 10 um, reps per set over four sets 
will be will be quite enough to, to last you for that week. Um, as I said, if there are any questions you've got about anything that I've said through throughout this video, please feel free to um, list them or, or ask them in the comments. And um, and guys, please, um, if you haven't already done so, could you subscribe or like or, or share the video so that I can uh, carry on producing this stuff for you. Um, all I'd say once again is age is just a number and uh, stay safe, stay strong out there. All right, take care. Bye. Oops, I forgot something. Sorry about that. Look, I just want to add that you don't come straight into the workout and lift the, the weight that you're going to be lifting over 10 reps straight away. Build up to it. So maybe just start off with the trap bar or maybe 5, 10 kilograms on the bar and then just do two or three reps. Give yourself 30 seconds, a little bit of a break and then add another 10 kilos or 20 kilos and then carry on lifting until you get to that weight in which you'll be doing 10 reps over four sets. Really important that you build up to that. And again, when you finish the when you finish over the over the four sets, do a, a deload set as well. So put a much lighter load on the bar and then just do uh, again 10 reps of maybe half the weight that you were lifting. It's just so that you you warm down as well. Okay, that's it, I promise. Okay, that's it. Any other questions, again ask them in the comments, save and subscribe, and that's it finally, bye.